I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will explore square root of multiples of 3. So here I have 3 to the power of 1 is 3, 3 to the power of 2 is 9, 3 cube is 27, 3 to the power of 4 is 81, 3 to the power of 5 is 243. So we have list of powers or multiples of 3 with us and we will see how to find square root of these numbers. So let's start with 9. So what is square root of 9? To find square root of 9, we can write 9 as 3 times 3, right? And now as you know, if we have same two factors, then the square root is equal to one of them. So we get 3 as our answer, right? Let us also explore how to find square root of 81. That is, let's try to find what is square root of 81. Now 81 can be written as 9 times 9 so this dot represents times and for square root we can take away one of the 9's out and we can write this as 9 so square root of 81 is 9. You will notice that if I have to use the exponent part that is 3 square I also know that square root of 9 is 3 square. So I could write this as 3 square square root. Now when I write like 3 square square root, I have to get the answer as 3. I know square root of 9 is 3. How do we get it in the exponent form? Well, square root basically is to the power of half, right? That is to say, if I have square root of a, it is as good as writing a to the power of half. So half of the exponent gives us the answer. So what is half of 2? That is to say 3. It is 3 square and we have to do half of that, right? So half of 2 is 1. So we get 3 to the power of 1, which is 3. So square root could also be written as half of the exponent. For example, in this case, 3 to the power of 4, right? If I do square root of this number, my answer should be half of exponent 4. That is to say, it is equal to 3 to the power of 4 times half, right? Half of 4 is how much? Half of 4 is 2. So I get 3 square, which is equal to 9. So that means that from the exponent also, I can get the answer right now knowing this it is an exercise for you try to find square root of 3 to the power of 6 so what is square root of 3 to the power of 6 since we have learned that square root of exponent should be half of the exponent so it should be 3 to the power of what is half of 6 that means 6 times half half of 6 is 3 it is 3 to the power of 3. Therefore, our answer should be 27, right? 27. So 27 is square root of 3 to the power of 6. So like this, we can actually find square root when multiples are given to us or when a number is given in exponent form, right? For example, if I say square root of 3 to the power of 10 is equal to what? Now half of 10 is 5. So you could always write 3 to the power of 5 as your answer, right? Well, if you want, here we have the value 2, 4, 3. It is equal to 2, 4, 3. But 3 to the power of 5 in itself is the right answer, right? And it is acceptable, right? Remember, when you do square root, it is not that always you'll get a whole number. You may not get whole number as your answer every time. For example, what is the square root of 27? So square root of 27 is, as you know, 27 is 3 to the power of 3. And half of 3 is not a whole number, right? But what you can do is, you can write 27 as 3 to the power of 3. That means 3 times 3 times 3. Now one of these two factors, whichever is common, can be taken out right so we can write this as equal to if I take out 3 one of these then I'm left with 3 square root of 3 so that is the answer 
So at times you will notice that square root is not a whole number. It could be rational or irrational number, right? So in this case, square root of 3 is a irrational number, right? So at times you may get a number like a square root itself. Okay, so I hope you learn in this video how to find square root of powers of 3. You can extend this to powers of any number whatsoever, right? For example, if you have 7 to the power of 4 square root, now you can always write this answer as 7 square, which is 49. And you can use this strategy to find square root of any number when it is given in the form of exponents or multiples. I hope that helps. Thank you.